In Asia, there is one type of bird with a strong beak. They also often peck and make holes in the surface of trees. Therefore, they are often equated with woodpeckers. The name of these birds is barbet. In Indonesia itself, there are many species of barbet that we can find. One of them was the coppersmith barbet. And in this video, Irfan and his team will release a coppersmith barbet in De Hakim's aviary. It's the aviary! Okay. Okay. It's time for us to release the coppersmith barbet. It's weird. The fire tufted barbet has no red plumage, but the coppersmith barbet had a red color like fire. Ready. This is the coppersmith barbet. Get ready, Kamaraman. One, two, three. Coppersmith Barbet The Coppersmith Barbet or Silipogon hemesphalus is a cute little bird with a body length of only 15 centimeters. The Coppersmith Barbet had red markings on its forehead and chest. The cheeks, eyebrows, and throat fur is yellow, with a black stripe separating the face and crown. The Coppersmith Barbet consists of a total of nine subspecies. However, the subspecies in Indonesia have a slightly different facial appearance. The fur on their faces is a combination of red and black. The coppersmith barbet at Dihekim's aviary itself is a Silipogon hemesphalus roseus or Javan coppersmith barbet, a subspecies in Java and Bali. Apart from the coppersmith barbet, there is one other type of barbet at Dihekim's aviary, namely, black banded barbet. The black banded barbet or Silipogon juvensis a bird that is also endemic to Java and Bali. With a length of about 26 centimeters, their bodies are larger than coppersmiths. Their body is leaf green with a black face mask, a red throat, and a yellow crown and spots at the base of the beak. Coppersmith barbet can be found in India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, China, Vietnam, Singapore, and Indonesia. However, these birds are mostly found in the Philippines. They live in plantation areas in the lowlands, open forest, and forest edges to hilly areas with a maximum altitude of 1,000 meters above sea level. However, in Indonesia and the Philippines they can be found at higher altitudes. Meanwhile, black-banded barbets live in lowland forests and subtropical or tropical mountain forests in Java and Bali to about 1,500 meters above sea level. Despite their abundance in the wild, both coppersmiths and black banded tended to be hard to find. So, if you intend to see these two bird species in their habitat, don't set your expectations too high. The coppersmith barbet had a voice that sounded tunk, 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 resembling the sound of a blacksmith banging a hammer against metal. Uniquely, their beaks remain closed when they call. It sounds like this. Is he an adult? He's still a teenager. Ready. This is the coppersmith barbet. Ready. The bite is quite painful. Ready. One, two, three. He's so cute. He likes to perch on the hat. The way it flies is so cute. Ready, one more time. Why does he always perch on you? Because of the sound they make, it's no wonder these birds are called coppersmiths. They generally live communally or in small groups, although some live alone. They are birds that like to bask. Therefore, these birds like open habitats where sunlight hits the forest floor. 
They often gather while perching on the canopy of tall trees in the morning or evening, shouting and calling in a monotone and loud voice, and they will do all that for a long time. However, their activities are not only perched and chirping. They also have to find food. Their diet consists of fruit such as banyan, figs, and berries. Although for added nutrition, they also sometimes eat small insects such as termites. They are quite greedy birds. However, the black-banded barbet is even more voracious. At De Hakim's aviary, these birds can eat four bananas in a day, just like coppersmiths. Black-banded also like bright and open places. The similarity between them also lies in their habit of making holes in trees to make nests. In addition, they also often use these holes for perching. Interestingly, they often compete with other birds for holes. Regarding this behavior and their breeding, we will discuss it in more detail in another episode. For now, we will continue to discuss the status of these birds in the wild. The IUCN classifies the coppersmith barbet in the category of least concern. Even so, their population in the wild is recorded to experience a decline. Meanwhile, black-banded barbet is in the near-threatened category on the IUCN red list. Fortunately, these two species are not popular birds to keep in Indonesia. Plus, they are already included in the list of protected animals. That means these birds are prohibited from being hunted, traded, and kept. Hopefully, the law will be effective in maintaining the population of these birds. For now, that's all for the discussion about coppersmiths and black-banded barbets. But, we promise to continue it at another time. That's why, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, so you don't miss any information.